In previous video, we discussed about the Thales theorem, a basic proportionality theorem, and we got few concepts to what it is and how to prove the Thales theorem, or you can say basic proportionality theorem also. And after that, a little bit elaboration of basic proportionality theorem I'm, I'm, I'm going to do here in this video. Uh, sometimes we also say corollary of Thales theorem. But before that, again, I want to remind you what is basic proportionality theorem. And there, you know, what you had learned that whenever a line like PQ intersect the two sides of the triangle and this PQ is if parallel to the third side, right? Like BC. Like a line parallel to the third side divides the two sides of the triangle, then the ratio of division is same for the both sides. I mean ratio of division of uh, ratio of division of AP over the PB is same the ratio as AQ over the QC. Both will have the same ratio of division. Let me write here in word that is I'm gonna say that AP over the P B is equal with AQ over the QC over the PB is same as AQ over the QC. I hope you understand it. And uh, I'm going to do a little experiment here. Suppose what will happen? Let's check it out. I'm going to add both side one one. All right. Here also I'm going to add one, and here also I'm going to add one. If I'm going to add one both side, that doesn't uh, affect my equality. So what will happen? It will be you know, something like AP and this PB will multiply this one. So I'll get here PB and then whole divided by PB. And again, this side AQ and QC will multiply one. So you'll get QC here and whole divided by again QC. So what is the result now? AP plus PB. Take a look on the figure. AP plus PB. AP plus PB. Oh my god, I got the whole line. So instead of writing this AP plus PB, we can write complete this AB. So let's write here AB now, right? And now PB we have. So let me put this PB as it is PB. And let's go another side now. Same like AQ we have and we have QC. AQ we have and we have QC. So in the place of this, I can completely write this is AC. So instead of writing AQ plus QC, now I can write AC over the QC. Now see the result, what we get? Like, initially we used to get like ratio of intersection of AP and PB is same as AQ over QC, we used to say. It. But now from this time onward, we can say one more thing. And that, that what is that one more thing? That is like, like uh, here see AB, you know. AV over the PB, or you can say in short, uh, you you can write like this also, like PB over the AB equals to QC over AC. I just do the reciprocal. Just I I put this up and this down. Similarly, I put this up and I put it down. So PB over AB is same as QC over the AC. So PB means PB one part over the whole part. Again here another part. The corresponding one part it should be. One part over the whole part will be same again. All right? Try to understand something like this. If it is like m part and if it if it is n part, if it is m part and if it is n part, then what will happen? That like PB you're writing means means just PB is that is what m part it is over the whole part and whole part we have this m plus n, right? So it will be over the m plus n. This ratio will be also same for the both side. Right for for side AB also, this is for side AB also, and this will same will act for the side AC also. Means in both side AB and side AC, this rule is applicable. All right, so you can say the whole over the one, or the one over the whole. Similarly, one part over the whole part, or you can say whole part over the one part. That means the both ratio is same. All right, like initially what we used to say, like <coughs> if you have a something triangle like this. Let me say like let me say like uh, P Q R S T. So in this triangle P R S, if you see in this triangle P R S, like initially like suppose if it is three centimeter, right, and if it is four centimeter, and uh, suppose this is corresponding, it should be it's parallel. So let's suppose this is six centimeter and this is eight centimeter. Just suppose, and in this case, you know what what we can uh, what we were able to do, we were able to write like 3 over 4 as 6 over 8 initially. But one more thing from this time on what we can write, like like this 4, I'm just taking this part, 
this 4 over the complete that is 3 plus 4 7 is again same as this 8 over the complete complete is how much 8 plus 6 that is 14 you can write in this way also now in next corollary I'm gonna do like it will be again same like you can do with this part also that I'm gonna do next time here in this figure okay so now see here from the same figure that we had learned initial initially uh, now what we had learned here AP over PB we had got right it's AP over the PB equals AQ over QC now I'm just gonna do the reciprocal I'm gonna put it up and this one down similarly I put it up and this one down so I'll get PB over the AP equals with uh, QC this is QC over the AQ so what I get <coughs> I get PB you know PB over the AP and QC over the QA so again let's do one more thing let's add both side one one okay here also I'm going to add one here also uh, here also I'll add one and here also I'll add one what will happen okay so PB over AP plus one is equal with now QC over AQ plus 1 I added both side now see as it is PB and then plus now see this AP will multiply this one I will get here AP and in the denominator if there is nothing then the LCM of AP and 1 will be AP actually similarly here I will write first QC and this AQ will multiply 1 so I will get here AQ there is nothing then there is 1 you need to suppose and then AQ and 1 LCM will be AQ here right now see here here again like PB plus AP what does it mean PB plus AB again look at in the figure PB plus AB PB plus AP PB plus AP see here PB plus AP what does they represent yes again the PB plus AP represent the whole line AB so now I can write that PB plus AB instead of writing this PB plus AB I can write now AB so AB over AP and similarly here QC plus AQ QC plus AQ QC plus AQ now see here QC plus AQ again that is representing the whole side AC so I can now write here AC over the AQ alright see one more result we got here or the same thing you can write something like this also like AP over the AB is equal with AQ over the uh, AC AC one more right this is just like now AP over the AB is equal with AQ over the AC now now see here in this figure you'll see AP over the whole AB is same as AQ over the whole AC and if you see in this figure like now AQ over the whole you know this whole PQ over the whole PR will be same as this PT over the PS. I'm going to say here this 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 PQ over the PR will be same as PT. PT means this part, all right? Over the whole this PS over the whole PS. And if in the ratio, then it is like PQ is how much? That's three. This much is three over the PR, and PR is now actually this three plus four. That is seven, and is now equal with now see uh, PT that is my 6 over the PS that is my 6 plus 8 that's 14 so see again another another ratio what we got so in finally what I can say that if I have a triangle something like this you know uh, here here I just want to say first 3 by 7 you know this over the whole this and this over the whole this means both will have the same ratio it's just you know a kind of explanation or exploration of the Thales theorem or basic purpose anti theorem okay so finally I'm just gonna conclude one thing in this triangle so conclusion from the basic proportionality theorem is ratio of division of one side that AP over the PB will be same as AQ over the QC right so AP over the PB will be same as AQ over the QC this was our first basic ratio from the Thales theorem after the exploration of this we got one more ratio that AP over the AB will be same as AQ over the AC so now I can say that 
from the same corollary of the uh, basic proportional theorem AP over the AB is same as AQ over the AC another ratio we got similarly third ratio now we can define here I'm gonna do with another color mm, suppose this one so this part one part over the whole part it will be same as the CQ over the CA so I'm going to say here now PB over the whole AB will be same as QC over the whole AC so now we got the three more ratios see so these three ratios again we got from the uh, from the same basic proportionality theorem we can represent in different different way like AP over the PB will be same as AQ over the QC and next one we recently find out that AP over the whole AB and AQ over the whole QC will be also same ratio similarly here if you take this side you know this PB over the whole this AB and CQ over the whole AP will be the same now next thing that everybody know you can make the reciprocal of this also you can write PB over the AP is equal with QC over the AQ similarly this was a like one prime I'm doing and 2 prime this is like AB over the AP you can same la, er, write like this AQ over the AQ and 3 prime third ratio what we get like you can reciprocal it you'll get AB over the PB same as AC over the QC right these are just uh, <coughs> another uh, explanations I mean simple like if you are taking initially this one then you can write that one but if you are writing initially the bigger one then you can write the smaller one also just you're making the reciprocal that's not the different thing right so this was a little bit uh, exploration of the Thales theorem that will definitely help you and while solving the numerical or while proving some some stuff some problems related to the Thales theorem this will definitely help you there right so we'll be meeting in the next video catch you in the next video goodbye